Hello and welcome to this video. As most of you know, I've made a video on the best two-piece, four-piece and six-piece sets available, and in last place was the Bane, but yet they had the highest potential damage out of all the other sets, with up to 1,360,000 damage. This is because the Bane also needs their teammates to have a good chance of activating their main ability. If anyone new watching this who missed out on the sets video or just knows very little or nothing about the Bane, with their six-piece set, they will choose a random enemy and poison them for 85,000 damage over 2.4 seconds. If there are other enemies nearby, one of them will also be poisoned. Now, this is the big reason to have the Bane on your team. If a fighter attacks a poisoned enemy, it will trigger an explosion dealing 170,000 damage to all enemies over 4.5 seconds. So, up to 8 enemies? That's up to 1,360,000 damage. If the poison hits their archer, and we don't have an assassin or artifact to get to the back, you don't want to have to wait until the next poison comes about before you can trigger it again, do you? especially if the enemy have a person who can jump to the back line and take out your bane before it happens again. Just before we look at the setups, make sure you're subscribed for other in-depth videos just like this one coming out in the future. So here are some great people to look at to make sure this happens every time. This is just my opinion as usual, and you might not even like the bane itself, but this is for anyone looking to max out their archer to the fullest ability. The first three are ones that have a great chance of making the Bane's poison explode, with the four others as helpful fighters that are more situational but can still help, especially if you're already building into these sets. I'm also going to recommend the cheapest way and best fighters for making this work. You can always add more set pieces in total to make this better, but this is just like some of the quickest ways for the best fighters to help the Bane in this way. So in first place will have to be the Frost Death 2 piece set. Now we're not talking about the damage, healing or benefits a single person can have, only what they can provide to the Bane's main damage. So the reason the Frost Death 2 piece is in first is because they will straight away be able to hit three different fighters at random with their spikes making them the best choice for a quick and effective teammate for the Bane. In second place will be the Oracle. Now this varies from a two piece all the way to a six piece and the more you build the better it becomes. It will shoot a single beam at the two piece stage that will damage a random enemy but the beam will also hit nearby enemies as well. When you have 4 pieces, it will shoot 2 beams, and when you have 6 pieces, it will do 3 beams, and again each beam will hit nearby targets, making this the best choice if you want to have the highest chance of hitting someone, but only at the 6 piece stage, otherwise the Frost Dev just takes the lead by only needing a ring and an amulet to make their ability work. In third, as a great choice again, is the Darkula 6 piece. Now again this fire at the 6 piece stage is already a great fighter on its own. But what it can do is every 7 seconds deal damage to every fighter, with the damage depending on how much they took within this time. But what this means is every 7 seconds, it has a very good chance of exploding the Bane's poison because the Darkula has to hit everyone very frequently. But it is in 3rd place because you need to have 6 pieces to actually make this work. The 4th choice is going to be the Incinerator 6 piece. This is hard to say a great choice to help the Bane because it needs a 6 piece and because the cooldown is much longer than the Darkula's and is less likely to happen when the poison is up. But once in a while the Incinerator will hit everyone with 100,000 damage for a nice burst and if by chance the Bane's poison is up that will be disastrous for the enemy team. These next choices are even less likely to help but still should be on the list because they can provide some chance of exploding the Bane's poison so if you're building into these anyway then this can still help. Fifth would be the range of 4 piece and preferably 6 piece. At the 4 piece stage there'll be a once in a while chance to hit the most distant target which could be ideal if you don't already have someone to get to the back of the map with either an artifact or using a shadow fire, then this can still be very effective. At the 6 piece stage it will throw 2 grenades at random enemies at the beginning of battle but the Bane's poison will most likely not be up by this point. But what it can do is still throw smaller grenades once in a while meaning that it will still have a chance later on in the fight to actually hit someone and activate that poison explosion. The 6th choice you'll be best to choose the Snake Charmer 2 piece or the 6 piece. I wouldn't recommend building into the Snake Charmer over any other sets but let's say your eyes are set on it and you want to make sure this works. The 2 piece has a 1 out of 3 chance of dealing damage to all enemies once in a while meaning this could do the trick but it's only a 1 out of 3 chance. What you could do is make it into a full 6 piece allowing the chance to be guaranteed to hit every enemy once in a while. Again the only issue is I don't think that this set is best to go for compared to all the other sets but again if you're already going for it then this can still be a great chance of helping especially at the 6 piece stage. The last on this is definitely by chance if they can help and that's the illusionist 4 piece or 6 piece. With the 4 piece they might be able to replicate someone to hit the enemy but that depends on what artifact that person has and who you're actually replicating. And on the 6 piece it depends on the items that the person is wearing that they can also help but this also relies on other fighters more than the illusionist but it can still help in some way and that's why it deserves to be on the list. 
If you have any set recommendations, then leave your comment for others to see down below, and make sure you leave how many pieces that set needs, so they know what to aim for. Remember to also hit that subscribe button for future set videos, and leave a like if you enjoyed this one. Have a great day and I'd love to see you in the next one.